Hey guys, I'm gonna do a short video. Um, C6, this is a 2009. A lot of guys are looking how to change out the skid plate on this car. Pretty easy job. Uh, look online, look on YouTube. I couldn't find a great video on how to do this. Uh, I've already finished mine up, but I'll go over some basics on how to do it. Uh, like I said, pretty easy job. If you have two people, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, as you can see, I have a tie strap over there. I'm great to take that off, but um, first thing you want to do is support the radiator. Um, I ran a tie strap through right down in here and just get it around it, run it up around this piece right up here. Just run it back through this side. I ran it up on the, underneath this right here, back around this. I use a large tie strap. Um, I think guys generally use these for HVAC. Here's the one I used on this side here. Like I said, I'm going to take mine off because I'm done. Um, kind of go over a few little things. I'll crawl under the car here. The only thing you really need on this to do this is a 7, a 13, and a 10. Uh, under the car here, if you can see this, um, you start by taking off this spoiler piece. Uh, there's three bolts in the, in the right wing of the spoiler. These are all 7s, 1, 2, 3. You'll take those off. Uh, there's centerpiece spoiler. There are, uh, if you come on the back side of this, we're going to hold the video. There are three bolts in the front of that. I don't know if you can see these. There's one there. There's one in the middle. There's one on the other side. Um, that'll pull this whole piece off right here. Three seven millimeters on this piece here. Again, I just got this one done. Um, so uh, three seven millimeters on that one. Once you get those out of the way, uh, there's a couple more seven millimeters two more seven millimeters on these uh, these outside pieces right here there'll be one here one here get those out of the way then you have a 10 millimeter bolt right here got one on each side drop those out that will allow you to pull back your inner fender once you do that you got these little press pins right here pull these press pins out you can pull this whole little inner fender back you pull this little vent duck out from the inside. It does have a little uh, push pin in it that goes up through the duck. And once you get that back, you'll see how to pull that out. Um, it'll allow you to take and pull out. There's a seven here, a seven here in the bumper cover, one here, one over here. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, seven millimeters in the bumper cover. Once you do that, you're pretty much ready to start dropping it down. There is a little bit of wiring on both sides that kind of runs through this skid plate that you're going to take off. Um, a lot of people say, oh, it's a pain in the butt. You got to cut wiring. You don't have to cut anything. Uh, as you can see, here's one of your 13 millimeter bolts right up here on my finger. Uh, be careful when you take these out, not necessarily taking them out, but when you put them back in, uh, make sure they're lined up. Uh, get them started by a finger. Uh, run them in as far as you can. Uh, there's a little insert that goes into the frame of the car. If you strip it out, it's going to be a pain in the butt. I've heard I did not strip it. So um, There's a horn wiring harness that plugs in on this side. Uh, other than that, the wire harness goes through. One plugs into the uh, marker light. One plugs into the fog light. Or not the fog light, but the... Uh, yeah, I guess it is a fog light on the front. And the other plugs into the headlight. Real easy. On the other side, uh, basically, you have the same thing minus the uh, horn harness. Again, it, if it comes through there, it pulls right through the bracketry. There's a little, uh, I guess, well, I don't know what they call it. It's like a push pin style connector right here that holds it inside of this little harness. Uh, my uh, bracket here was broken in three pieces where I guess the previous owner had hit a um, curb, something like that. So I had mine welded. Uh, for somebody to go out and pay $300 for this thing, to me, is crazy. Uh, I welded mine up. As you can see, I painted it and uh, it came out pretty good. So uh, again, support your radiator. This is what holds the bottom of the radiator in. So if you do the tie straps on the top, um, it won't fall down. And if you can pull this thing out, Really only about, if it, with two people, it took us literally about 20 minutes to get it out. 
I put it back in myself, so it took a little bit longer and I did some cleaning up while I was down here. So um, it took me about an hour to put it back together. But again, I put some new spoiler under here or air dam piece, whatever you want to call it. And um, took my time to you know kind of wipe some things down while I was under here, but uh, turned out pretty good. Again, uh, seven, a 10, and a 13 is all you need. Um, the light here kind of sucks, but as you can see, turned out pretty good. Don't be afraid to do it yourself. Save yourself some money. Uh, again, going to the GM, paying two, three, four hundred dollars for this thing. I've heard labor at GM is crazy as well to have them do that. So the three, four hundred dollars just for the parts. So hope this helps everybody that is looking to attack this job. Again, pretty easy to do. So uh, don't be afraid.